parents are refusing to send their kids to school this week, Yuna. Well, James, it exploded on social media. Rumors of a handgun and hit list at a Heber Heights middle school. But what really happened at Weisborn Middle School that caused a seventh grader to be out of school for the week and were parents just overreacting? This one kind of mushroomed and grew its own life, even to the point that uh, I got a call about a hit list. Uh, we've investigated that. The, the police department has investigated. There is no such thing. There's none found. Huber Heights superintendent is fielding frantic calls from parents about Weisenborn's hit list rumors on Facebook. But it kind of went viral Monday evening, and I've seen some of the Facebook pages where parents were out there and students saying that this is going to be a problem at school. And consequently, we did have some students that were kept home by parents. Superintendent Bill Kirby tells News Center 7 it started with an inappropriate post made by a seventh grade student stating that he was going to bring a gun to school because he was being harassed by other classmates. Police found no hit list, no gun, and there are no criminal charges. But there is a lot of panic on social media. Some say it's going overboard. How can we overreact? What is the value of a child's life? Mary Leal teaches a class called Moments of Terror in American Schools at Wright State University. We've got to pay attention to those. Listen to these kids. They're giving us the signs that something's going to happen. She refers back to what happened in Chardon just last month. I heard just the other day um, on one of the incidences, they said, oh, he's such a nice kid. He'd never bring a gun to school. Well, he did, and he killed some people. So we need to wake up, and we need to pay attention. This stuff is serious. Well, the school assures me that they are taking this very seriously. The seventh grade boy who made no mention of a hit list is out of school this week, and the school is looking at the harassment accusations to see if there's a case of bullying at Weisenborn Middle School. Reporting live in the News Center, Yuna Lee, News Center 7.